Hey guys, so I wanted to give you a little bit more variety to your home workout routine and I'm going to show you a few different exercises for your lower body and two for your upper body. You don't need any fancy gym equipment, but the one thing that I do suggest that you invest in is resistance bands. Okay, so you can find these online, um, they're affordable, they're portable, so you can have them always and they're great for travel as well. And um, to add a little bit more intensity to our workouts, if you don't have dumbbells, a Clorox bleach bottle will do. Now the key to this whole workout is to take the three exercises that we're putting together and doing them back to back. You can do it in three cycles, you can do it five cycles, whatever it is that works for you, just take it at your own level. But key, remember, you always wanna be challenging yourself. So the first exercise that we're gonna start off with is the plie squat. This is working a little bit more of your glute muscles and um, your inner thighs. And the key is to have your feet about shoulder, wider than shoulder width apart and slightly point your toes outward. Make sure that they're in a line that you don't want one foot out further than the other. Okay, so I like to, you know, if you have tiles on your floor, it might be um, beneficial to have a line of demarcation showing you where your body should be uh, relative to um, the movements. So what we're gonna be doing, again, you're putting all the weight into your heels and you're leading with your tushy. So you're slowly going down, pressing into your heels and coming up keeping your core tight, keeping your shoulders back. Okay, so remember the first thing that goes down are your glutes. Try not to lean forward. Now again, this is just the basic level one exercise of the A squat. You slowly go down and you push back up. You slowly go down and you push back up. If I wanted to make this a little bit more difficult, grab a heavy weight and what you can do is again, hold it in your arms, shoulders back, go down, Tap the floor and press up. Every time you press up, you make sure to squeeze your glutes. Okay, so again, lowering your body down and pressing in your heels to come back up. Lowering down, pressing in your heels to come up. If I wanted to take this to level three, okay, so now I'm going to add a little bit of a plyometric movement to get your heart rate up. I'm going to add a little bounce to this. So we're going to go down. Drop the weight, jump up, come down, lift, lower, jump, down, lift, lower, jump, down. And you can do this as long as your body is capable for going. Start off with 30 seconds, take it up to 60 seconds, and try to challenge yourself. So that's for the lower body. Let's take it on to your core and your shoulder. So the second workout is gonna involve your shoulders, your core, um, a little bit of your arm, your upper body and your arms. So we're gonna go down, okay? Now I'm gonna show you a little bit more of the difficult version and then I'll show you the easy version on the floor. The key is to have your hands in alignment, okay? And you wanna have your elbow in line with your wrist and in line with your shoulder. So your butt and then on your toes. Make sure that your body is not up here because that's putting a lot of strain onto your shoulders and we're not targeting the right muscles. So everything needs to be in alignment. The key to exercise is angles and physics. So just make sure, again, if this plank position is all that you can do, that's fine. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna challenge you a little bit and I'm gonna ask you to get into that plank position if your feet are wide, it's going to make it a little bit easier for you. If you bring them closer together, it's going to incorporate a little bit more work on your core. So again, try to find a comfortable zone for you where you're challenging yourself, but you're not straining. If you feel any pain, you're probably not doing it right. If your muscles are shaking a little bit, that just means you're putting demands and work on muscle groups that probably have never worked before. So we're gonna get into a plank position and I'm push, pressing on my toes, but I'm pushing my forward, my body forward to make sure that everything's in alignment. And from here, I'm gonna tap my shoulders and release. Tap my shoulders and release. Now, again, my core is completely activated in this workout. I am not swaying as I move because if you're doing that or if you're dropping your hips like this and arching your body, 
you are putting a lot of strain on your lower back. So the key is to tuck your pelvis in. You don't want to be here, you want to be here. And then tap, 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 and make sure that you breathe. And notice that my body is not rocking. I am contracting my obliques to hold my body in place. If doing that workout on the floor is too much strain on your body, and this is still new for you, I suggest you finding a couch or a bench in your home and elevating your body here so you're not completely on the floor and you're taking a lot of pressure off your back and you're getting a little bit more help with the angle that you're in. And once again, you don't want your hands too wide. They need to be directly under your shoulders, okay? And remember, I'm not sticking my glutes up in the air. I'm not dipping my hips down to the floor. I'm holding my body in a plank position. I am activating my core. I'm activating my back. I'm tucking my pelvis in to contract all of these muscles. And from here, I'm just tapping one shoulder at a time. Okay, make sure you breathe, make sure you're not swaying. And again, if this tapping motion is too much for you, just contract your muscles and do an isometric hold. Isometric exercises just allow you to stay in a position and let those muscles work without movement of lowering or um, elevating your body. All right, so let's take it to the last exercise. So our last exercise, which actually includes two different muscle groups, is with the resistance bands. Again, you can find these online. And um, different colors represent different resistance levels. So I have a very, very easy color, yellow, as you get darker in the color scheme, uh, there's a little bit more resistance, so it becomes more difficult. I'm gonna put one foot over the band. Now what I'm trying to do is work my bicep muscles. So from here, again, try not to stand here. You want your feet in alignment. You're going to curl the band up and slowly lower. Curl the band up and slowly lower. Curl the band up, and this is working my bicep muscle. Now, if you're lucky enough to have weights in your house um, while they're in high demand right now, as all the gyms are closed, you can do the same movement with a um, with a dumbbell. Okay, so I'm going to just show you what that looks like. Here, I have five pound dumbbells, and what I do is I just curl up and I slowly release. Curl up and slowly release. The key is to try to avoid swinging. I see a lot of the times that people are always doing this. You're putting a lot of pressure on that little joint, so be careful. If you have um, arthritis or bursitis, you really need to be gentle on your joints and control the movements and contract the muscle, okay? So it's so important that when you're exercising that you're present with your body. Too many times I've seen people who are, you know, probably thinking about what they're going to be having for dinner or they're just going through the motions of up and down and up and down, but not really squeezing the muscle groups that they're looking to work. So if you have that resistance band, you can do the bicep curls. And one more quick addition is the um, shoulder raises. So again, from here, I'm going to lift up and control down. Slowly lift up and control down. And you can take this wide if you wanted to to get the different heads of your shoulders, okay? Or you can bring them forward. And the key is, again, once I'm always gonna talk about the core muscle, this needs to be contracted. So even when we're doing these bicep curls or lateral raises, you don't want this happening, okay? You never want to have this arch in your back because that's why people have lower back problems. You wanna tuck it under, activate your core, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Combine the exercises, bicep curl, shoulder, bicep curl, front raise, bicep curl, lateral raise. So make it fun. Um, my advice again to make this into a challenging routine is to try and do this for 15 minutes. Three different exercises. You can use the clock 30 seconds or 60 seconds, depending on your level. You can use repetition, so 12 to 15 reps of each exercise can also be an option. Um, you could take breaks in between each exercise, but going back to back without breaks is really what's gonna keep your heart rate elevated so you get that aerobic activity in. A lot of people think that when you're doing resistance training or strength training, you're only bulking up and getting bigger and working um, your muscles, but again, 
Non-stop exercise also elevates that heart rate uh, to give you that aerobic conditioning that you're looking for. So hope this is helpful. If you like these videos, we'll be putting more up for you. Stay safe, be well, and healthy.